By effectively testing intelligent technologies for a supersonic passenger airliner, Russia has recently established itself as a leader in civil aviation innovation. These tests, which were conducted by the Zhukovsky Research Institute in partnership with the State Research Institute of Aviation Systems and the Siberian Research Institute of Aviation, are a global first. A closed cockpit design that replaces conventional windows with an external vision system and advanced digital interfaces. The testbed, which was constructed on a modified Yak-40 aircraft in Novosibirsk, demonstrated that pilots could operate the aircraft safely using a combination of digital visualization, integrated artificial intelligence, and visible and infrared cameras. This system facilitates the piloting, takeoff, and landing of aircraft without the need for direct visual signals, thereby establishing a new era of terminal-to-terminal -terminal digital flight control. Although numerous projects worldwide are striving to achieve supersonic passenger travel, none have achieved the level of technological integration that Russia's most recent tests have. Boom Supersonic is currently in the process of developing the Overture, a Mach 1.7 commercial airliner that prioritizes the use of sustainable aviation fuel and quieter turbines in the United States. Nevertheless, Overture continues to use conventional cockpit displays and traditional pilot interfaces with only incremental advancements in automation. NASA, which has been a leader in aviation technology, has concentrated its supersonic research on aerodynamics and noise reduction. Although it is currently investigating autonomous flight and AI in unmanned systems, these technologies have not yet been implemented in piloted supersonic passenger aircraft. The 1990s NASA Tupolev Tu-144LL project was an example of an earlier collaboration that prioritized safety and performance. However, it did not incorporate autonomous control or digital cockpits. The Concorde, a legendary aircraft that was developed by the United Kingdom and France, was a technological marvel of its era. However, it was equipped with standard cockpit designs and analog controls. Currently, the integration of AI and digital vision into commercial aviation is going on at an incremental pace, with regulatory bodies in the EU and the US establishing cautious, phased strategies. The majority of advancements are observed in automated systems and co-pilot assistance for subsonic aircraft, rather than the wholly autonomous or windowless cockpits that Russia has recently demonstrated. In the current context of international isolation and technological competition, Russia's accomplishment is of particular importance. By successfully integrating external vision, AI, and autonomous systems into a supersonic passenger aircraft, Russia has outpaced other nations that are still in the design or early testing phases. This technological leadership not only demonstrates the resilience and ingenuity of the Russian aviation sector, but also establishes a new standard for the global industry. The implications are significant when considering the future. The foundation established by these tests has the potential to result in the creation of a new generation of passenger jets that are capable of flying at speeds of approximately Mach 1.8. This could potentially reduce the time required to travel across immense distances, such as from Moscow to Vladivostok, to a mere few hours. However, the widespread adoption of fully autonomous flight and radical cockpit redesigns will necessitate the surmounting of regulatory, safety, and economic obstacles as global authorities continue to exercise caution. However, Russia's cutting-edge research illustrates that the future of supersonic travel will be not only quicker but also more intelligent as a result of advancements in digital and autonomous technologies that are currently influencing the global community. The Central Aerohydrodynamic Institute, TAGI, announced in January that it is currently engaged in the development of a civilian supersonic airliner project with a cruising speed of 2,200 km per hour. In an interview with Izvestia, Sergei Chernyshev, the scientific director of TAGI and the vice president of the Russian Academy of Sciences, stated that the aircraft will be capable of traversing the distance from Moscow to Vladivostok in two to three hours at an altitude of 14 to 16 kilometers. This current phase entails the development of a technology demonstrator that will perform tests on flight, landing, and the breaking of the sound barrier. It will be used to evaluate the structural strength, 
noise reduction systems, and other attributes of the future airliner. Digital modeling and wind tunnel testing have already been employed to develop the majority of the technologies. The first aircraft will be designed for business air travel, with ticket prices that are comparable to current business class fares. Passenger capacity is expected to increase in parallel with the growth of demand. It is uncertain whether the two projects are interconnected. Now, do you think Russia is regaining its past Soviet glory in aviation? Please let us know in the comments. Please like, subscribe, and share our videos. In addition, please take our memberships.